Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you have never seen my face on your screen before, make sure to go down there and click the red subscribe button. Thank you guys so, so, so much for 1000 subscribers. Um, I'm absolutely mind blown. Literally like my goal for the end of the year was 100 subscribers. So to have 1000 subscribers is just amazing. Come here. Sorry, my dog's like making noisy with her little peaches. So today I am doing a 1000 subscriber Q and A. So let's just get into the question. I asked you guys on this video there. Nope, not gonna focus. Um, on my vlog to give me some questions. And you guys were spamming the questions. So I have 85 questions. Most of them are actually like repeated questions. So I'm not gonna answer all of them because like that'll be pretty boring. But you know, the first question is, have you always loaned horses? She's given me quite a few, so. Um, I've not always loaned horses. Like I only started loaning horses last year when I started earning, loaning Mickey and Burke. Burke, can you stop sneezing? Ah! I only started loaning horses um, when I started learning Mickey and Buddy, but I've like, I had lessons before. Have you ever owned a horse? Nope. How long have you been riding? Six years. Will you ever own a horse, not loan? Well, I'm hoping to, but I just need to ask my daddy and he'll get everything for me. Joking, I'm like completely joking. Like this isn't even mine. Yep, that is vanilla. Yeah, but seriously, like my my family's not like millionaires like i can't just get a horse like that i am i am wanting to get my own horse is it your yard vanilla lives at no i don't have my own yard why do i have to live right next to an air ne <laughs> right next to an airport are you falling in love with with vanilla love is a strong word no i'm joking um that is the question not gonna focus but you know um yes I guess. <laughs> what is the tallest horse you've ridden? I think 16.2. Who was your fave horse to ride? Out of all the horses I've ever ridden, probably it's also called Romy at my old at my old stables. How long have you been riding? Six years. How the heck did you convince your mum to let you loan a horse? First off, I convinced my dad. <laughs> there was no way of con convincing my mum, so I was just like, "Hi, daddy." No, again, joking, completely joking. It took it took six years to be able to have my own lone horse. Well, I just I just kept and kept asking, and then like I showed commitment, and I showed that I was gonna do it. Like I wasn't just gonna give up straight away. So, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Well, I was in like year four when I started my YouTube channel, and I just did like really random things. So I've deleted them, so you're hopefully never gonna find them. And then. She put, what made you want to start horse riding? Again, doing a riding stories video, so. So I'm actually gonna start doing shout outs. I know I should have like mentioned this like in the start of the video, but um, I'm actually gonna start doing shout outs. And there was this girl who asked me on Instagram in my DM, she slid into my DMs. And she was like, hey, can you give me a shout out? And I was like, yes. So I will put her name somewhere her YouTube channel somewhere here. And I'm gonna give this other person a shout out because she was my 1000th subscriber. So that was uh, right there. What's your thoughts on matchy matchy sets? I absolutely love matchy matchy sets. <clears throat> love matchy matchy sets. The green one. And she, or he says, how old is Vanilla and love your vlogs? Thank you and Vanilla is 24. I know, but he doesn't act like a 24 year old, so don't worry. What colour and breed is your dream horse? Well, my, the like breed, I'm like, I really do love thoroughbreds, but like doesn't everyone. So, probably a thoroughbred cross with, I'm not really sure, thoroughbred cross, like Connemara cross trotter or something like that. What colour? Probably bay. How long did you have Mickey and Buddy? I had them a year and like a quarter. 
And how many days a week do you loan Vanilla? I can ride him like three or four days a week, I think. And uh, I can go down every day. P.S. I love you. Thank you. Love you too. Do you ever get... I'm sorry, I didn't even show you her name. Like, yeah. So her and then this gorgeous. Oh, that is very clever. She said, do you ever get teased at school for having a YouTube channel? If so, do you... What do you do to ignore them? Congrats on 1,000 followers, thank you. So, of course I get teased at school because they're all just a jealous. No, I'm joking. But yeah, I get teased at school all the time for having a YouTube channel, but like, what do I do to ignore them? I just sort of laugh it off and I'm like, well, I don't see you having a YouTube channel, so bye bye. I don't really care. Like, I can just shrug off them haters. What inspired you to start riding and how long have you ridden for? Love your videos, thank you. And what inspired me to start riding? Riding story coming soon. Will you ever jump Vanilla as big as you jumped Buddy? No, just because of his age, um, but I would have wanted to. Can you do another riding dares on, but on Vanilla by the same person? Like, oh, well, of course you'd start reading him. That is so annoying. Not gonna lie. But anyway, um, I probably can't, like I'll probably do a few things on him. But like, as seen as a cause of his age, I don't think I can do much on him. How long do you plan on leasing Vanilla, which he's loaning to us in the UK? How long have you been riding? Six years, as I said earlier, and I plan on leasing Vanilla as long as I possibly can. But obviously, because of his age, I don't know when he's gonna get retired. So I don't know. Are you going to do competitions on him? What's he like to ride or jump? He is 15 hands and I'm going to do a, like one local competition or something like that. And he's really smooth to ride and jump. If you had a choice to go back to the old yard without vanilla, would you? No, I would definitely not go back to my old yard. just because the item art is so much better and it's given me so many more opportunities. So, no. Who is your equestrian idol? Oh. This is very, like, not difficult, but like, I watch quite a few equestrian YouTubers, but I think the one that stands out the most to me and the one that I, like, not want to be like, because obviously everyone's different, but, <laughs> oh my God. I've got like curtains right at these like really big glass doors and my dog just like popped out of them and is staring at me. But you wanted to go out. Stop is staring at me. I think it's gonna be Floral Equestrian just because she's like, she's so sweet and the way she handles Eva, she's just like really, really good with her. Have you ever owned a horse? No. Would you ever consider buying a horse? Oh, yeah. Are you just going to stick to loaning for now? For now, definitely stick to loaning. Oh my God, how many people are actually going on holiday? And this girl said, do you keep vanilla at a livery yard or a riding school? I love your videos and I keep him at a livery yard because that's where he was originally. So next question was, horses or ponies? Probably horses. What breed is vanilla? That's actually a really good question. He's like a Welsh D, I think. I think it's a Welsh day. What do you want to do when you're older job wise? Oh my God, why did you ask me so many questions? Like, you guys, seriously, whoa. Oh my God. Um, so what, I, what do I want to do when I'm older? I want to like get a job as an um, interior designer or a veterinarian. And then when I've got enough money, I'm gonna buy my own livery yard and I'm gonna get some horses. <laughs> That, well, that, that's, what, that's what I'm planning to do. What discipline is your favourite? Definitely show jumping. What is your show colour? Any. How do you balance school and horses? I just go to school, come back and go to the stables because the stables literally, you can see it from my mum's balcony. You can even, uh, no you can't. It's literally right across the road, like that way. Smallest horse you've ridden? I rode Shetland. How high do you usually jump in lessons? Well, I haven't had a lesson with Vanilla yet. I'm going to have one though. Is Vanilla the perfect horse for you? Um, 
Honestly, I don't really know. That's a very hard question. How many horses have you ridden? Oh, um, many. How many horses have you owned slash loaned? Mickey, Buddy, Vanilla. Riding dreams? Become a professional horse rider. <laughs> Any hobbies other than horses? Tidying. And that is gonna sound really sad, isn't it? But I really do like tidying. And I do like doing crafts, but I have to like, tidy away after. Um, sorry for all the questions. I have. Love you so much, Gemma. Thank you so much, and don't worry about it. Are you still allowed to visit your old stable? If I have a valid reason. Do you like the idea of whips? But uh, do you like the idea of whips only if they're needed and not hard at all? What are your plans for vanilla? Um, my plans for vanilla are basically just to take it as it goes and like see what happens. Have your parents always supported you riding? Always, like they've never had doubt about it. Like they've basically said, if that's what you wanna do, you do that um, and we'll support you all the way. My mum actually used to do horse riding, so yeah. Describe your ideal horse slash pony. I don't really have a like ideal horse slash pony. Like if I fall in love with it, I fall in love with it. Like, yeah. I'm really sorry about the rain. Like really, really sorry. How many times have you felt fallen off? Like 10 million times. What is your least favorite job at the barn? And what's your favorite? Riding doesn't count. My least favorite job at the barn is probably... Least favorite job? Well, I'll start out with my favourite. My favourite job is actually mucking out because I really do like mucking out for some reason. Um, I, my least favourite job. I don't actually have one. So I moved because uh, the rain got a bit heavier. If you can hear it, that is because I'm right next to my window. Carrying on. Will you do an equestrian giveaway when you reach 1k? I am on 1k now, but... Uh, I'm gonna try. If I do end up doing the giveaway, I probably won't do that much. Maybe put together like a little bundle of horse treats, some grooming things, just some like stuff like that. Would you ever think about buying vanilla? Probably not, again, because of his age. That is going to be the last question because this video is so long. And yeah, if you have any more questions, comment them down below and i will answer them or maybe other people will answer them but anyway thank you so much for watching thank you so much for 1k uh don't forget to like and subscribe down below and yeah bye guys